Voyager 1, launched on September 5, 1977, was never meant to be a messenger between species or civilizations. Its mission was simple, to study Jupiter and Saturn, collect data, and continue drifting into the abyss. But now, over 15 billion miles away from Earth, it remains operational, sending whispers back from a realm few thought would ever communicate anything meaningful. In recent transmissions, however, scientists received something that left even the most seasoned experts at NASA stunned. Buried in the background of otherwise routine data were anomalies, strange, structured pulses that suggested something far more deliberate than cosmic noise. Initially, these fluctuations were thought to be the byproduct of Voyager 1's aging systems. After all, the spacecraft was built with 1970s technology and has weathered the vacuum of space for nearly five decades. Engineers expected some degree of malfunction. But upon closer examination, what seemed like random telemetry glitches revealed a pattern, repeating sequences, fluctuations in timing, and frequencies that did not align with known forms of cosmic radiation. These patterns weren't just rhythmic, they appeared intelligent. And more importantly, they appeared to react to the spacecraft itself. The region Voyager 1 now occupies lies well beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind is no longer strong enough to push back the interstellar medium. It's a place thought to be unimaginably empty, devoid of any substantial electromagnetic interference. Yet, Voyager's plasma wave instrument picked up synchronized bursts, not just static, but coordinated oscillations, fluctuating in tempo and resonance. The readings were cross-verified by independent observatories, confirming that these disturbances were real, not artifacts of degraded sensors. The signals continued for three consecutive Earth days. Then, just as mysteriously as they began, they ceased. This raised more questions than answers. What had Voyager 1 encountered? Was this the signature of an unknown cosmic phenomenon? Or was it something far more extraordinary? The timing of the signals was particularly eerie. They seemed to pulse in tandem with Voyager's course adjustments and telemetry pings from Earth. It was almost as if they were mimicking, or responding to, human-made signals. The frequency of the pulses began to change with the spacecraft's orientation, as though tracking its movement. While initial reactions were cautious, whispers within scientific circles grew louder. Could this be an encounter? Not with matter, but with intention? Researchers expanded their analysis, incorporating machine learning algorithms to decode the sequences. The patterns remained elusive. They didn't fit any linguistic structure, yet they bore complexity far beyond chance. Some suggested the patterns resembled prime number sequences. Others noted similarities to encryption ciphers, not merely noise, but signals awaiting a key. Around this time, Voyager's onboard systems began showing unexpected improvements. Its thermoelectric generators, long past their expected lifespan, exhibited a measurable increase in output. Batteries that had been slowly decaying stabilized. Subsystems once deemed unreliable began operating with renewed efficiency. There was no external recharge system, no plausible explanation from a mechanical standpoint. It was as if the spacecraft had absorbed some form of directed energy, not enough to trigger alarms, but significant enough to notice. Engineers were stunned. NASA's Deep Space Network recalibrated its antennas to monitor surrounding areas for similar emissions. That's when Voyager 2, still billions of kilometers behind its sibling, began to detect fainter but unmistakably similar disturbances. This second detection ruled out a malfunction and reinforced the hypothesis that these weren't just random cosmic events. They might be signals, signals shared across a space-wide network, or even echoes from points spread light years apart. The theoretical implications were enormous. For decades, astrophysicists operated under the assumption that interstellar space was a quiet, passive medium. The occasional burst of radiation, perhaps a wandering rogue planet, but certainly not intelligence. Now, that assumption was being questioned. If these signals were intentional, they weren't just passive observations, they were interactions. For the first time, scientists had reason to believe that something, somewhere, was aware. Astrobiologists considered a range of possibilities, 
from microbial civilizations capable of emitting low-level technosignatures to exotic non-carbon-based life forms manipulating space in ways we couldn't detect. Some even speculated that the signals could be residue from type 2 or 3 civilizations on the Kardashev scale, advanced beings capable of manipulating entire star systems or even galaxies. Others leaned toward non-biological explanations, perhaps self-replicating artificial intelligences, ancient probes seeded through the galaxy, or remnants of a long-extinct hyper-advanced society. Then came a controversial development. A private space firm, using high-sensitivity instruments in orbit, picked up a signal that bore a striking resemblance to Voyager's data. But this one was coming from the direction of the Alpha Centauri system. The signal was weaker, delayed, and distorted by interstellar medium interference, but it mirrored the rhythmic structure detected by Voyager 1. Analysis showed that the sequence wasn't a perfect match, but the underlying mathematical foundation, the pattern of energy spikes, the modulation rates, was nearly identical. This suggested one of two things. Either the same phenomenon exists in multiple locations across the galaxy, or the signals are being relayed, transmitted from point to point like cosmic breadcrumbs. Public awareness exploded. Online forums lit up with speculation. Was this the first contact scenario long predicted by science fiction? Could these be beacons? Or warnings? Government agencies were silent. NASA issued carefully worded statements about continued analysis and urged caution, but their posture had shifted. The tone had changed. This was no longer a malfunction to fix, it was a message to study. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 continued on its journey, seemingly unaware of the significance it had triggered. Or perhaps it wasn't unaware. Engineers noticed subtle changes in its data routing processes, almost like the spacecraft was optimizing its output on its own. Diagnostic reports showed no software modifications, and there was no sign of external tampering. Still, the data packets grew more efficient, more refined, like Voyager was learning. Some researchers suggested the unimaginable. Could Voyager 1 itself have been altered in some way? A passive probe transformed into an active conduit for something far greater? It was a wild theory, bordering on the absurd, but nothing else made sense. Instruments that had no business operating so efficiently after 47 years were showing signs of revitalization. And while no one said it officially, a few whispered that perhaps the spacecraft had been, in some way, upgraded. As the months passed, more anomalies surfaced. Distant observatories detected faint energy readings resembling those seen by Voyager, not just in our solar system, but toward multiple regions in the Milky Way. Signals that pulsed, paused, and responded to our own transmissions. The cosmos, once considered silent and indifferent, was whispering back. We may not yet understand the nature of what Voyager encountered, but its discovery has changed everything. It has opened a door we didn't know existed, one that might eventually lead us to others. Whether those others are biological, synthetic, or something beyond our imagination remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. The universe just got a lot more complicated, and Voyager the first of may have become our first ambassador to a realm we were never prepared to meet.